All right, super happy. Just went down to a fish store in or er, near Annapolis called House of Tropicals. If you live in Maryland, near anywhere near La Annapolis, no, Annapolis, uh, you should definitely go to this store. No questions. This is the best store I've ever been to. Uh, just went there. Saw some small clown, clown loaches, big clown loaches, lots of cichlids. Uh, not many dwarf cichlids, but they did have rams and a pishigama gazi. Been looking for, the, for these guys for like f two or three years. And they just happened to have them. And a rare thing at fish stores that even have male dwarf cichlids, if you can see her, is she, they had a lot of females too. So I got two females. Uh, just put them into the upstairs 10 gallon. I have no idea where the other female went. I think she might be in that pot. Whatever. So, I got a trio of Agassiz. Nice tank set up. Little cave right there, driving moss above. Pot with some holes cut up on the top. Uh, it was pre cut by someone, with the person who made it. Uh, definitely look for those because they're a lot better than what you could probably make. With some drama moss around there. I got uh, Amazon Sword, which is downstairs. Uh, Lutella, or Lutila, or something. Uh, either I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, if you, if you guys can help me out. I, have, my mom saw it and she was like, "Oh, let's get this plant. Let's get this plant." So, I uh, had to abide, abide because she was buying them, and uh, so. Any information on this plant would be great. It looks amazing. This one section, you, I broke it off from a much larger plant. I have the rest downstairs, which will be featured in a later video. Uh, so yeah, Fistragama Gazi. Amazingly awesome fish. This guy is kind of lazy because I just put him in and he's kind of shocked. But amazing fish. Definitely get them. But make sure you have experience with fish you have a nice setup tank that's been set up for maybe a month or two uh... water stable low ph definitely below seven uh... seven point oh which is neutral uh... yeah oh i found a store that uh... they sold duckweed which is pretty uncommon because it's usually known as a weed because it's called duckweed anyway uh... I've been looking for this plant for like a month or two and couldn't find it anywhere for sale at least. Uh it if you don't want it, like if you don't want it to cover the whole entire thing, you're gonna have to regularly remove it because I've read somewhere it's a really nice informational place. The thing was Tropical Fish magazine. Uh these plant this plant can uh if you have one it can create a really large group in maybe a week or two. If you have a group, like I do, so over there, uh, it can double in size in less than two days. So I'm about to go on a vac on a trip to Seattle, see my brother. Uh, and this, if you, I'm when I get back, this is just going to be covering the whole entire tank. Ridiculous, maybe a. Maybe a centimeter too thick. Possibly. Probably unlikely. Uh, so yeah. Got a sponge filter running in here. Hagen, Hagen. Something like that. Uh, I like these sponge filters. They just look cool. It's, yeah, they just look really cool. Uh, I got a bigger, like, for the 29 gallon, I put a sponge filter that's for up to 80 gallons. Uh, so that's, what, twice... Oh, yeah. yeah, twice, maybe a third of the actual filtration needed. I just really, when you get the chance, I just love to over filter my tanks because then you know it's going to be really nice and really clean. Basically, like having a, a canister filter for a 55 gallon on a 10 gallon. Probably don't want to do that. The flow rate would kind of devastate your fish unless they're like hillstream loaches, maybe. Barbs or tetras from really fast streams. Uh, I'm not sure dwarf cichlids would like that very much, especially not rams. Uh, so, yeah, 
Flower Pot, great. Not sure where the other female is. On Agassi Tanks, uh, Sand would be pre preferable. Uh, I'm working on a ta uh, website for Pistos only called a, pist a Pito Tank. A real mistype of that. So, A P I T O Tank dot weebleed dot com. Yeah, I don't really want to pay for a website. Uh, they're usually pretty lively. You want? I don't have any driftwood in here right now. I'm gonna get some small. I might get some small pieces. So driftwood, hi, a lot of hiding places for breeding, and ten gallon minimum. If they're really small, like they're all adults right now, the females are in breeding mood and everything. So if you if they're small enough. And they're, you know they're adults, you can put them in this, a 10 gallon for a trio or a pair. Trio's kind of pushing it. Uh, make sure you have a lot of hiding spots. They, a pair, fish just love to go inside the Java moss, especially my dwarf cichlids. Because they just, literally, my uh, pair of cribs that used to be up here, that weren't breeding for me, so I put them downstairs in a tank. Uh, uh, where I used to have cockatoidy think uh so they love to just like sleep in the java moss or something because apparently it's a nice hiding place for them that pot they love it pots you can cut a little hole out crock it flip it upside down uh so yeah that's about it for this video uh i'm breeding them so i have the heater set to 80 82 degrees uh yeah, I think that's about all it. See you next time. Alright. Fifteen minutes after last uh, update. For like fifteen minutes, I think. Uh, probably. Uh, my male Gazi really starting to color back up. I love how he's this gold right there on his, the top of his dorsal fin. And the uh, casual fin is a really nice bright orangish red. Though the ventral fin doesn't have that much color, it's kind of a like gray. And uh, mine is crap. Uh, his face is if you can you can definitely see that. It's like shiny blue and he has that black blue stripe down in the middle. If you can see it really. And now he's like I said, a lot more active, swimming around the tank, more relaxed. And if you can see, oh no, she just left. The, I was right, the female, one of the females is indeed, in fact, in there, inside that little cave pot thing. Actually, kind of cool. Uh, uh, gotta get to cover really quick. Here's a better shot of the female if I can get her. There's a lot of stuff behind here. The wall crap. crap. I don't think I can get a good shot of her. There's a lot of algae covering this wall. But there she is, right there. Nice bright gold, yellow, black stripe. Still got some coloration in the tail of the red and male. But not as colorful. Er, in one way not as colorful. But in another way more colorful because of bright, you know, yellow. Uh, as, that is what I uh, got these, and, uh, uh, or male, or female epistogramma dwarf cichlids will look like when they're ready to breed. Bright, shiny yellow, it's usually when they, after they laid their eggs, but th in this case it's just they're ready to breed. It looks amazing. The duckweed is coming back over here. Nutella has changed a bit, what am I thinking? It's plant. It not change that fast. So yeah, they love the. Oh, I think she's coming around. Yes, there's a perfect shot. She just ran away from me, but for a split second, you could see her perfect, nice, bright colors. So they're finally out, and like I said, you put them in your tank. They're really, they're gonna be really stressed, unless you use, unless you use the breather bags, which I just ordered a while ago. They should be coming today or tomorrow. They are fantastic. You just search them up. They'll tell you about it. Tropicalfishmagazine.com. They are amazing. I love them. Or actually, I never got to try to 
chance to try, but I'm go I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love them. Uh, all the details and information about them on the where I told you to go. Female down there. Let's get a good shot of her. Oh well. So yeah, breather bag coming in. So I'm gonna get some fish from Seattle. Bring them on. The great thing is that they only take up 90 milliliters of water for the fish. That's all they need. Great scientific stuff behind that. Uh, gonna get some fish when I go to Seattle. Uh, bring them. I need my carry on, so I'm, like a little bit of water. Uh, won't get. See you already. Won't get pissed at you. My tank is looking nice. I gotta put some more water in there. Do that later. Uh, maybe Friday. Uh, so, Lutella, great plant again. Or at least it looks amazing. Only needs low light. Trying to get a good shot of the female that's in her in there, but she is defying my wanting to catch her on video. It's a male poking his head out. Uh, so yeah. This is a pretty nice setup. Go out of drop moss. Plants will keep it nice and clear. But duckweed will fight the algae ridiculously. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, just film a little bit of the Agassi. Maybe put some music on, radio. Probably gonna be a little bit of talking. Hey. Yeah.